Hi there. Have you ever just wanted to create maybe a short video to explain to somebody how to do something for your client or maybe even staff? Or better yet, you just want a no frills recorder so that you can create your course. Well, today I have a tip for you that's for free. I'm Terry from TerryMLee.com where we talk about video for your online business. That's creating videos for your courses, your sales videos, your live streams, and more. So let's get started. If you haven't heard of Loom, L-O-O-M, or Use Loom, it's a fantastic tool for creating quick videos. Now, they just recently come out with a standalone desktop version, but but originally it was just an extension to your browser, specifically Google Chrome. So forget about all this other technical stuff. Let me just show you. So over here on my desktop, I have a window that's just, you know, it's just my Google Chrome. And I'm going to go to useloom.com. Now, when you first come to this page, you'll be uh, presented with installing it on Chrome or there is a desktop app. Now what's great about at least using it in Chrome is that it's for free. It allows you to record not only your desktop, but your uh, camera or even just the camera only. Now it's kind of no frills, like it's not any great editing or you know anything like that, but it works perfectly uh, for creating those really short videos or even you could do it for a course. So I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to go through that process, but you could just click on that and install it. Now I'm going to minimize this, and this is me logged into Chrome, or logged into um, my Loom account. Now this icon right here is Loom. Now, so I'm doing a recording of a recording. Um, so uh, fortunately I have two cameras and two mics. So this uh, demo um, should work smoothly. I tested it out earlier. So we're just gonna click here and you're presented with three options. You can uh, record your screen and camera, um, your screen only or the cam only. Now this is great for people that like they want to create a video but they don't really want to be on camera. So oftentimes I'll just pick screen only. But before we get there, on the screen cam, I want to show you these advanced options. This is where you actually get to pick your camera. In this case, I have multiple cameras and I have multiple mics, like just the built in to the computer. I'm not that fancy, so don't get it twisted. But in my camera, I would pick my FaceTime because right now I'm using my webcam. So you see me down there in this corner. And then for the audio, I would pick, uh, let's say the system audio because I'm using my um, Blue Yeti mic as my default uh, microphone. And then I would just start recording. Now, before I do that, and I will do it in a second, um, you can do screen only, and whatever picture you have in your profile will show here. So this is a great way. You don't actually have to be on camera, but people kind of get to see you. And then if you needed to do just cam only, then you're not recording your desktop, but then you can create, you know, your talking head videos, as they say. So let's go over to the full, and let's say we're just going to do the full desktop. And we can um, just go ahead and click start recording. It's going to ask me, do I want the whole desktop or is there something specific? Well, I only have the, the one thing up there. So I'm going to um, do this one and it'll go ahead and start recording my desktop. So let's say I go to terryandlee.com, I bring up my site and then this is a recording. So I'm going to go ahead in the bottom down here, it'll say stop recording and I'll start recording and right away it will bring up my recording. Now, if it's a longer recording, it might take a few minutes before everything is processed, but for the most part, it's done pretty quickly. So I can give this a different name and I can say demo loom. I can see how many people view it once I maybe share it out. 
I can set passwords on it in case I don't want it, you know, for the entire world. If you use Slack, which is a whole nother um, discussion, but you could send it to certain people, but you can just send this link to people to view your video. So you could send it in an email and what have you. But what about that course? I said you could use it for a course, right? Well, yes, because you can, well, you can download the video right here and then you can upload it to what other web hosting, maybe a Vimeo or something, uh, Wistia, where for a course, especially for a paid course, you want to make sure it's secure and not just um, an unlisted video in YouTube or something like that. But again, um, you can just download it and if you want to use some editing software, then that could be your next step. But then you have you know, call to actions. Now these are with the pro version. That's the paid version premium. You can customize your thumbnail that you actually wanted to show. So, but to get started for free, it's, it's pretty nice. So take a look at Loom and let me know what you think. I hope you found this useful. Talk to you later.